<laughs> After years of planning, months of final preparations, and weeks of launch delays, Boeing Starliner capsule is finally on its way to the International Space Station. It blasted off on the historic mission this morning, carrying two astronauts. And Eyewitness News reporter Rob Hayes has been following today's developments and joins us with what all this means. Yeah, well, it's definitely good news for Boeing, which has been having problems in its aircraft division. The two astronauts now headed to the International Space Station. Today's liftoff considered a big step forward in the now fast-moving race to get to the moon. Three for NASA. Two. Today's launch one was exist. the equivalent of a very expensive Uber and liftoff of Starliner and Atlas V. Two NASA two test American pilots, American. Sonny Williams and Butch Wilmore, riding Boeing's Starliner capsule into orbit today, preparing to dock with the International Space Station on Thursday. A successful debut launch of a new an unproven spacecraft. I've taken a huge risk. No one's ever flown this rocket before and, and successfully executing it. Big kudos to the people that built the rocket, people that built the spaceship. This isn't the first time NASA has used an outside company to venture into outer space. Elon Musk's SpaceX has already launched nine times for NASA since 2020. The two commercial companies hired to transport astronauts to and from the space station after NASA retired the space shuttle program. We go with our commercial partners now. And when we expand our fleet of spacecraft, what we're doing is expanding our reach to the stars. The Starliner's maiden voyage comes about four years late, repeatedly grounded by software glitches and problems with a fuel valve and parachute. Hold, hold, hold. But today's launch is a major step forward in the now growing space race with other countries. Good handle. We're sending a mission to the moon uh, late next year with four people on board. We're laying the groundwork for not just exploring the moon, but settling the moon. I mean, all that's happening right now. Now, the two astronauts will spend eight days in orbit. When they return to Earth, instead of a water landing, they're going to use parachutes and will touch down on dry land somewhere in the desert southwest. So. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.